Well, we are getting a special appetizer edition of Dirty Dining right now, featuring a multiple repeat offender. Contact 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears takes us inside the restaurant that was one violation short of shutdown. You may remember me from the last time we were here. I remember you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Kapit Bahai Filipino Fast Food on Spring Mountain and Wynn in Chinatown Plaza is a repeat offender. This is the restaurant's second location and fourth time on Dirty Dining. We're just here because you guys have that 38 demerit C grade, and so you're on dirty dining tonight, kind of like what happened before, and we'd like your side of the story. The person in charge walks away to take a phone call instead of answering our questions about Kapit Bahai's May 7th inspection. She's the same woman inspectors say was not knowledgeable about basic food safety and did not have a valid health card. We saw several hand washing violations as we waited to talk to her. Health inspectors did too. They also found pork, chicken and fish at unsafe temperatures, an employee's cell phone on a prep table with open banana pastries, buildup on floors and a complete absence of sanitizer solution in open food areas during active food prep. We're just trying to find out what the issue was with all these violations. Instead of answering, she packs up food, cleans tables, and tries to hide behind a pole to avoid our camera. Bit. Do you want to say anything about that C grade? Uh, no. You don't want to say anything about it. Kapit Bahai still has that C. Inspectors warn that continued non-compliance and lack of active managerial control will result in more serious enforcement action. Tonight at 11, we return to a strip mall where we've been once before and where inspectors found moldy and expired food at a place that specializes in salads, sandwiches and smoothies. Also tonight, we're changing the criteria for which restaurants are featured on Dirty Dining. For a full explanation, go to KTNV.com. Darcy Spears, 13 Action News.